Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the new series. Uh, it's the workshop on molecular talk. Before entering into the workshop, let us understand the basics. Uh, what are the programs which are used? How the interfaces will be? How the results will be? So, uh, giving an outline and understanding the basics. Okay. So, first of all, you have to select a literature uh, such that you can understand the a molecular talking. For this workshop, I am going to use a literature and that is one. So it is a molecular talking analysis of flavonoids with aldose reductase and the credit goes to this uh, researchers. Okay. Apart from this, uh, we have, uh, I have uh, attributions uh, all these uh, segments. Okay. So, look here, uh, these things are used in this workshop. So, thanks for these uh, contributors. Okay. So, first of all, in the literature, uh, if we see the disease taken is uh, diabetes mellitus, the enzyme is aldose reductase, the target protein is 1IEI, co crystallized ligand is present, and the ligands are taken from NPAC database. So, the protein is downloaded from the protein data bank, and the test ligands are being ligands with a co-crystallized ligand which is 16th ligand. The ligands are taken from the PubChem or NPAC site. The steps in molecular docking, it is this, uh, the software uh, to be used, uh, it is Autodoc or Pyrex or ECDoc Vina or any online tool. We have to prepare the ligand, prepare the protein, we have to generate the grid box, then you have to run the auto grid, then the auto dock and analyzing the results and visualizing the results. So it's a basic step involved in the molecular talking. Okay. First of all, you will have to download the protein from the protein data bank or Unipro. So the protein name for this workshop is 1IA. It's a crystal structure of human aldose reductase complex with the inhibitor Zen Aristat. So the method of its submission is X-ray diffraction. The resolution is 2.5 Armstrongs, and uh, it's not having any mutations. So you can see here there is no mutation in this uh, thing. So here you can see there are no mutations. It is from X-ray diffraction. Its resolution is 2.5 Armstrongs. It is having a inhibitor that is Zen Aristat. The protein name is human aldose reductase. Okay, then you should understand the protein. Suppose to understand the protein, you can use the PDB site also, or you can go to uh, there is the literature which is available in the PDB site itself. That is, in this, the literature is the structure of human recombinant aldose reductase complex with the potent inhibitor Zenaristat, uh, which was published. It is in PubMed. So it is mandatory you have to read this paper well to understand the protein. Okay. Then you can use some uh, other sites to understand the protein. What is a PDB sum for this protein I have taken. So it has uh, 315 amino acids. It is having the hetero atoms. That is water, xenaristat and nicotinamide adenine phosphate. Then it is having one chain. Then the active site residues are these things. So these are the 10 residues in the active site. Out of this 315 amino acids, 10 are at the active point. And the number of hydrogen bonds are this and the bond lengths are given. Then you can visualize this with, uh, with Discovery Studio or lit plot like this. All these things we will be doing in the workshop. Then the program, first program uh, in the workshop is uh, running autodoc. It's a single ligand docking. First, we have to prepare the ligand. So, in the ligand preparation, there is a tab called ligand. So, this will be used such that you can input the ligand and you can get the output of the ligand. The next is after preparing the ligands, it has to be saved in the QT. Q is uh, charge and T is torsion. Torsion is flexibility. Next is protein preparation. We will be using uh, two pools. One is uh, UCSF Chimera. So preliminarily we, you can process the protein before using Autodoc. You can remove water, extract the co-crystallized ligand and the 
receptors. You can do that in the autodoc also, but it will be very easy if you go for UCSF Chimera. If, even if there are missing residues also, you can add in this. Uh, but you should have a license for it, which is free. You, uh, you can apply and get it. Other tool which can be used to add the missing residues is Swiss PDB viewer. So it will appear like this when you load the protein, it will show, uh, it will add the missing residues. It will add the missing residues in pink color and it will show here, here you can see it has added the missing residue. Okay. If there is one tool called Wind, when you click it, you can see this. Okay. The next is protein preparation using Autodoc. Preliminary steps can be done with UCF uh, Chimera or Swiss PDB viewer. So in the protein preparation, we will be using the edit uh, tab. So we will be adding the hydrogens. So we will be adding the hydrogens, adding the charges. We will be assigning the atoms and we will be saving this in the PDB QT format. Then preparation of grid box. So we have to set a grid box where the protein and ligands they bind to each other and they have interaction and the calculation of delta G or uh, kilocalorie per mole. Okay, that is the how when they interact, how these uh, where there are bond stretching, uh, uh, bond uh, uh, twisting or whatever which happens. There are some energies which are involved which is calculated in the grid box. Then we will be running the auto grid. So there is another tab called we will be running the auto dock and auto grid. There, there is a run tab where we will be using auto dock and auto grid. First auto grid will be run, then auto dock will be done. Then we will be analyzing the results using the analyze tab. So we can see the poses. So here you can see the poses. Then you can see the binding energy, you can see the interaction residues, okay, and you can uh, save this file also. The next is visualizing the results. So you can visualize it in a 3D or 2D using BioWare Discovery Studio. You can know the bond lengths with the uh, plot plus. plus. So these are all free tools which can be used. Next is running Pyrex. It is for multiple ligand docking. Uh, first, you have to process the ligands. You have to form a ligand cluster. Suppose you have 100 ligands. You have to use BioVia Discovery Studio. Uh, cluster all these ligands as a single file. Then, you have to run the Autodoc Vina. So, here there is a sort called Vina Zal. Then, you will run this program and we will be uh, here one more thing is all the 10 courses of the results will be compiled as a single single file so we have to split the protein uh, courses protein and the ligand courses using vena split so we will be using to frame the complex file we will be using uh, the file mod uh, so I, as I told you the file will be generated as a single file as out.ptbqt to split it we will be using vena split.exe in the workshop uh, we will be discussing that ok then visualizing the results it is same by way of discovery studio for 2d and 3d images and lit plot for calculating the hydrogen bond lens then running ec.vena it is multiple ligand docking the interface will appear like this so it will have a ligand preparation tab, protein preparation tab and the docking parameters could be added here. So here you can give the XYZ coordinates and you can start docking. It is very easy. So analyzing the results, it is very similar to Pyrex. So it will generate a, you have to frame the complex file with PyMod. Then it generates a single file for all the 10 courses using split uh, uh, dot uh, exe vena split dot exe you have to split the courses then you can visualize the results so apart from this in the workshop we'll be using some uh, learning some online tools also so one is doctor so it is free to use for academic purpose 
so it will have uh, this interface so where you will uh, load the protein and load the cofactors you can load the ligand and of the complex and you can see the results which comes to your mail the next is cb doc it is a cavity based docking so now the version launched is cb doc 2 previously it was cb doc so it uses cavity based docking you can go for blind docking with this so you can upload you know you can you can add more parameters also so you can you can you can see the results in this site the next is one click docking it's very fast so this is uh, if you have academic uh, email id you can use it that is uh, edu.in or ac.in you can use this you can give the ligand input you can give the protein input it automatically calculates the, the xyz coordinates of the binding site and you can see the results you can save the results file also save the complex file also so in this workshop we will be discussing all these things go through all the series uh, in this workshop and realize this i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning